Welcome back to Living 808. Well, our Best of Honolulu segment features businesses all around Hawaii. And 53 by the Sea is setting themselves apart with their outstanding menu. I got a chance to talk with the sous chef Clipper to see what dish has all of Honolulu hungry. Oh. It's easy to see why 53 by the Sea was named Best Seafood Tower for this beautiful creation. So what is special about it? We're going to head into the kitchen to find out. built here in the kitchen and the sous chef Cliff is going to help us do that. So tell me what makes this so special. Uh, so a lot of the product that we bring in is actually local. So we got Kona Kampachi, uh, Ahi, uh, Kona Lobster, uh, Kolo Oysters, Kona Abalone, Kauai Shrimp. So a lot of this is uh, local. What are the key steps to do this? If you can walk us through building the seafood uh, tower. So we'll actually start with the bottom layer over here. Okay. And this bottom layer is usually our our, uh, our sashimi planner. Mm. So you have your fish, your uh, abalone, uh, and then up at the top layer you have more your shellfish, uh, your uh, shrimp, and your uh, lobster. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see the magic happen. Okay. Sure. And how many of these do you think you're doing a day? We can go. Shucks. I mean, anywhere between. Uh, Sometimes you'll sell maybe two, sometimes you'll sell ten, so you really you really never know. So we'll just lay down a couple leaves of uh, shiso. Okay. Okay. Put our sashimi down. This is uh, ahi. And uh, tuna kampachi. Yes. This is our uh, taco. We sous vide our taco um, in-house. Then we'll grab our tuna abalone, sliced up. And then we'll grab our... Oysters. I'm a sucker for oysters. These are uh, cool little oysters, so they're Ooh. local. Uh, we just got them in this morning, so uh, freshly shucked, ready to go. See. Yep. And just just get better and better as we go. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our top layer now. All right. Uh, right here we we'll have our uh, poke. We have a, our own uh, poke sauce that we uh, we mix it with. We got our two Hawaii shrimp. I'm gonna lay that down just like that. Okay, we have our lobster. We just use it as a uh, kind of a centerpiece. More shiso? More shiso down, yep. Mm -hmm. You can actually use the shiso with your sashimi, so. Delicious. Yep. And then we have our lobster, a tail, the claw, and the knuckle. Right. And then we'll have our three dipping sauces. So we actually have a, uh, a finger lime in it. Finger lime comes from the Big Island. Uh, the lily koi uh, cocktail sauce. Lily koi is also local. Uh, and then this is our kizami wasabi and shoyu. Oh. Yep. Okay. And then we'll go ahead. Here. How did you feel about being recognized for having the best seafood tower by Honolulu oh, Magazine? Oh, excellent. I mean, I, during the, uh, in, while we were conceiving this whole thing, I mean, it was, do, you know, what people do we put on here? And we decided, you know, to go as low as much local as possible so that's why you see what we see over here and the last step is that uh, we pour some hot water in here and it's just for mainly for aesthetics it's a show in the dining room right i love it okay. this is how your tower comes out voila best seafood tower 53 by the sea at honolulu magazine Thank you so much, Cliff, for inviting us You're into welcome. the kitchen to yep. see this. Now, we need some eating to do. And we're going to come back here, check out more dishes in the kitchen for future Hawaii's Kitchen on the road. Oh, yeah, the seafood and they have this great chef's grand tasting menu. So we go back there for Hawaii's Kitchen on the road Thursday. So a lot oh. more to come for their wonderful culinary team. I can't wait to see it. Oh, my gosh. And you and I were just talking about how much we love seafood off, off camera. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I am dieting, but I, <laughs> I want seafood more than ever now. So shout out to 53 by the it's sea. Just across the road. We're close yeah. by. <laughs>